Professor of Public Health at the University of the West Indies, Mona, Peter Figueroa, says the majority of Jamaicans have been infected with the COVID-19 virus since the global pandemic started three years ago. The claim comes just hours after the World Health Organization stated that COVID-19 is no longer a global health emergency. The details in this report from Hal Shane Burke. Professor Figueroa says a study was conducted last year following the surge of infections from the Omicron variant. The University and the Ministry of Health were among six institutions which carried out the study. The objective was to determine the level of persons previously infected and the extent of immunity. And Professor Figueroa says the findings published this year in the Journal of Clinical Virology Plus showed that 77% of the 1,540 people tested had signs of infection. Speaking with our news center, Professor Figueroa said most people who have contracted the virus have been asymptomatic. We have done a study in Jamaica that actually shows that the majority of people have been infected. Um, only just under a third have been vaccinated, but the majority of people have been infected. But because we see the virus continuing to evolve, it changes when we say it mutates. It, it changes and therefore it still remains infective even to persons who have been previously infected or vaccinated. But most people are not going to get severely ill, unlike when we had the Delta variant. The samples for the test were collected between March to May 2022 from persons attending clinics in Kingston. He added that the COVID-19 virus now endemic and is expected to continue to mutate. Therefore, public education around vaccination in Jamaica should be geared toward the elderly and those with comorbidities. Younger people, children, I do not see the need for them to get routine vaccination due to COVID. With giving a vaccine, you weigh the benefit and the risk. So what we're learning is that the vast majority of children who get COVID do not get severely ill. The World Health Organization yesterday declared that COVID-19 is no longer a global health emergency, but stressed that it is still a significant threat. Hal Shane Burke, TVJ News.